Hello there, Jesus Freak 777. Um, before we start, I'm actually going to ask you to do something. Um, you bang on all the time about the written word of God, so I'm going to ask you to do something about your written word. Um, in your introductory title sequence, it should read, Witnessing God, apostrophe S, glory, not witnessing God's glory. Um, in the signed box to the video that I'm responding to here, it should read, God, apostrophe S, truth is absolute, um, not God's truth is absolute. The apostrophe denotes ownership, um, assuming that you're referring to just the one God and that the glory and the truth are his. Um, if you're going to refer to written language as absolute truth, then I think it's really important that you strive for a high level of accuracy. Okay, so now we've got that out of the way. Um, you've just posted this video talking about cherry-picking from the Bible. Um, now, I've got to say that I have to admire your front, if nothing else, for putting this video up. Uh, that you can do this with a straight face is either really impressive because of the level of self-control that you're demonstrating, yeah, or it's really scary because of the insanity that we're seeing. Now, a perfect example of this insanity is the text caption that you put up in the video. Um, it reads, either Jesus is true and all other religions are false, um, or other religions are true and Jesus is false. <coughs> Where do you get this stuff from? Um, let me just show you why it is that this, <laughs> this statement is so utterly and completely nonsensical. Okay, here is John, right? And here is Jane. And John and Jane live in a house. Now if I ask them both, where is your house? John will say, on my left. And Jane will say, on my right. Now both of them are correct. So if later on John and Jane go for a walk in the woods and they come across a fir tree and John says this is an apple tree but Jane disagrees with him and says it's an oak tree. They're both wrong. So just because we have two answers that disagree with one another, it doesn't mean that either of them are wrong. But more importantly, it doesn't mean that just because one of them is wrong, the other must be right. So, um, in the next bit of your video, you go on to say that you think we should use scripture as a guide to living our lives. But how? Um, how can we use the scripture to guide us when you yourself have told us that parts of it are no longer relevant. In one of your recent videos, Homosexuality is a Sin, you explained how we need to split out scripture into three types of law. Civil law, moral law and priestly law. But only the moral law still applies today because we're living in this state of grace following the advent of Jesus Christ. Um, and that's in spite of uh, Deuteronomy 12.32, which roughly says, don't change the rules. But in this video, you're telling us we mustn't cherry pick. You're going to have to make your mind up. Anyway, um, I did what you asked um, in the last part of your video, and I looked at my life and I asked myself, how closely do I resemble God? How closely do I resemble a misogynist, homophobic, racist, genocidal, serial murdering, egomaniac, narcissistic control freak? And the only conclusion that I could arrive at was not very much, really. For which I suppose I should be thankful.